Bonjour and welcome to Flower and Party, your new podcast full of good vibes, of sparkles, of flowers, bright preferentially, around the theme of weddings, but not only. Birth, anniversaries, baptisms, I'm really fond of all the family celebration. And this is the reason why I wanted to share with you all my advices, my tips, all about my experience and my discoveries around this theme. Will you come with me? Bonjour and welcome to this new episode of the podcast. I'm so glad to be here again with you. Today, I'm going to talk about our common enemy, the enemy of every bride-to-be. I'm speaking about the rain, of course. Because, yes, if there is something we cannot do anything about, it's the weather. However, we all know that we don't want this guest to our wedding. So, how to turn a bad forecast into an opportunity? Here's what we are going to talk about. I told you I had many things to say even about the weather. <laughs> So, rather than crying and ruining your makeup in the process, here are some ideas on how to make the most of this surprise guest. First of all, I would recommend you to bring in some fun. If the rain is forecast for your special day, don't panic. You can still do something about it and make it a party favor. Getting some fun and easy to find rain gear can be a great opportunity for cheering up your guests and giving you the opportunity for some great photos. So how about buying a couple of colorful umbrellas? Ask your family and witnesses to bring some for themselves, make a small stockpile for the others, and start playing around with the colors. Here is a perfect idea. Why not forming a guard of your guests and ask them to you know, hang their colorful umbrellas as you arrive. I think it might be really, really nice, really fun and a perfect icebreaker. And another fun idea would be to buy some colored gum boots or rain boots for both you and the groom or bride, uh, as well as for your maids of honor for a very rock and roll style, as well as to get some very, very nice pictures. And to finish, in the same type of idea, you could buy a couple of K-ways, you know, the famous, famous vest against the rain and the wind, <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's really fun, really rock and roll, an alternative, and in my opinion, it's the best way to, you know, give a rock and roll style to your dress. You can as well decorate your own umbrella with flowers, <laughs> dried flowers, of course, or fairy lights, and uh, use it for your pictures. I think it will be a beautiful, beautiful effect on your wedding pictures. In any case, you got it. The idea is really, really to play around, to, you know, turn this enemy into a friend and to try really enjoying it and making it a real part of the celebration. And my second recommendation would be to secure a backup plan. It's an advice I always give to anyone who is planning to organize any event. Just secure a backup. It's really important, especially if you want to organize something outdoors, a garden party, anything outdoors, you need to plan even in the summer for rain. It can happen, it does happen sometimes, and believe me, if you are well prepared for rain, your event will be perfect anyway. So just make sure that your venue has a plan B if it rains at your wedding. If not, then you can consider renting a tent or a barnum, for instance. And by the way, they can also be a great spot in case of heat wave for the most fragile to cool down. They can easily be decorated with string lights, lanterns, hanging baskets, or even floral sculptures to best represent the theme of your party. And some even have transparent walls so that you can really take advantage of the domain that you're celebrating your wedding in. 
And if the weather is really not great and that you have the budget, you can as well rent a couple of braziers or one or two blankets so that your guests are not cold at all and really enjoy this time together. My third advice would be to propose animations to deceive the rain. Yes, because there is a good chance that you are stuck in-house until the weather gets better. So this is the time to be imaginative and find some indoor entertainment. Blind tests, photo booths, team games, or even improvised flash mobs. There are many possibilities, but I'll come back to you about that. And here's a thought for the parents. <laughs> Do not hesitate to bring in some toys for the kids, because trust me, you don't want them to make a rain dance. No, you don't. My fourth recommendation would be to plan for waterproof. <laughs> yes, it's obvious, obvious, even in case of great weather, waterproof makeup will be a must. So if it's a professional makeup artist who does your makeup for the great day, of course, he will secure your makeup with waterproof. However, if you want to do it yourself, bear in mind that waterproof mascara is mandatory and even that you need to really uh, fix the makeup globally and bring in a touch-up kit as well. And for maximum comfort, why not bringing a different evening dress or another pair of shoes? This will create a nice surprise effect with your guests and you will be even more comfortable to dance until the end of the night. And the fifth and final advice will be, you get it? Enjoy your day. Yes, the weather is something we cannot control. And no, it's not going to ruin everything. On the contrary, rain can bring a very cocooning and moody atmosphere. It will definitely bring your guests closer together. And we all know how much everyone Everyone loves to talk about the weather, so what a perfect icebreaker, I mean. Uh, and as for the photos, did you know that they can be even more beautiful in wet weather? And don't hesitate to ask your photographer to play around with the raindrops, the reflection, and for the bravest, how about doing a trash the dress session, I mean. <laughs> well, I'm not that brave, but I know some of you will be, for sure. Remember that it's your day, to both of you, and that the important thing is to be with your family, with your friends, with your charmy, whatever the weather will be, it will be a beautiful day. Believe me, you just have to let go of the things you cannot control and just secure the rest. So here we are. It's the end of this episode. I hope you'll find it useful or at least funny. And I hope the stress will be gone, you know, about that, because it's really not that bad. Really not. I had rain at my wedding and, you know, so just relax, uh, enjoy the preparation, enjoy the last moments before the big day enjoy every minute of it and uh, if you've liked this episode don't hesitate to share it comment it tell me what you thought about it and even uh, give us a good five stars rate on uh, your podcast platform maybe <laughs> in the meantime don't forget to enjoy Wake up.